This is the autoblogger. It can generate thousands of blog posts using AI and then post it to your WordPress blog. These are new features added to the free template that I released before. And in this video, we're gonna walk through those new features. We're gonna generate two examples, one that goes to a WordPress website, and we'll do one that posts to your bubble website, but it uses the stable diffusion model. And then I'll show you how to set everything up so you can start doing this yourself. Okay, let's get started. Sorry it took me so long to make these features. I know a lot of you have been asking for the auto post to WordPress. I had a few other things on my plate, so I delayed this feature, but it's now ready to go. When you start a brand new app with this template, you will get both of these new features, the auto post to WordPress and the new image model stable diffusion. Now, unfortunately, you can't update your already running apps. So if you want these new features, you have to start fresh. That's a problem with Bubble and how they do templates. And it makes sense. Let's say you've been building this website for the past month. How are you going to implement a brand new template on top of your already built app? I guess it doesn't make sense when you think about it that way. But if you do like the articles you've already generated, there's always the option to go to your data tab, app data, and then export all of your articles. Okay, let's do a sample generation. Let's say I have a WordPress blog. I'm gonna click this toggle in the top right corner, and if I've hooked up my website properly, I'll show you how to do that in a second, everything that you generate in this app is gonna auto post to your WordPress site. Now you'll notice when I toggle this on and off, the image model grays out. I have some bad news for you guys. There is no way to send an image generated in Bubble to WordPress through the API. I spent at least five hours today trying to figure this out. There are three to four form threads on the Bubble form asking for the same thing. I talked it through with ChatGPT. This is a limit with their API connector. It doesn't save images properly as a file or in the database for it to send to WordPress. So if you wanna use this WordPress feature, it's only going to be text. You know, you can always go in afterwards and add images, but unfortunately that's a limitation. This is my sample WordPress website. Here is my post page. You can see I have no posts. Now in the auto blogger, I'm gonna select some keywords. So this is a fitness website. So I'll do fitness coach and then body weight fitness. I'm gonna put the post interval to one minute and then generate posts. This time we have a pop-up that says your articles are being written by the AI. Please check your WordPress dashboard to see the results. I'm going to click OK. And now I'll just wait a couple minutes and I will show you what the result is. OK, both posts are ready. Let's click this one right here. And I'll go to Preview, Preview in a new tab. And this is the article that was generated completely by AI. Very cool that it was generated in Bubble and then sent automatically to your WordPress website. All right, let's do an example with the stable diffusion model. This is a brand new image model instead of Dolly 2, Dolly 3. Now we have a new option. And generating images with stable diffusion can be a lot cheaper and also sometimes better, higher quality. So now you have the option. Same thing, I'm going to input two keywords. Remember, it's not going to go to WordPress because WordPress doesn't accept images. Sticking with the fitness theme, I'll do the bench press and then powerlifting meet. To generate posts. I'm going to click OK here and then I'm going to wait a couple minutes. In the meantime, while that's generating, I had a lot of users complaining that the Dolly 2 outputs were really bad. And I think it's because we were generating images with Dolly 2 the same way we generate images with Dolly 3 with a short, simple prompt. But with Dolly 3, it rewrites your simple prompt and it makes it a lot larger. With Dolly 2, it just uses that simple prompt. And I don't think that model was strong enough to make good images from small prompts. So I added in an extra step when you select Dolly 2, and it's this one right here. What it does is it writes a Dolly prompt for an image that relates to this article title, and it pulls the article title that was generated in step one. So now if you're using Dolly 2, you get a much larger prompt written automatically by AI, which will hopefully give you guys better image outputs. All right, the articles are ready. Let's scroll down. I'm going to click the power lifting meet one. And there we go. Stable diffusion image. And this is the article written by GPT-4. Now let's go set it up. When you click on the link in the description, you're going to go to the template page. And I already have it installed. 
So this button says purchase, don't worry, it's free. But if you don't have it installed already, you're gonna install it to a brand new app. In your homepage, let's click create app. We're gonna start from template. I'm gonna choose the auto blogger and we'll call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it fitness website blog 2024. Let's hit get started. Now in order to use this template, you do need to be on the paid plan. It's because we use backend workflows. And if you're gonna launch your site, you need a domain name anyways. So you'll need a paid plan for that, but they offer a 14 day free trial for every new app. So if you're auto posting to your WordPress blog, you can always activate a free trial, 14 days, generate all of the articles you can, and then cancel before the free trial's up and you won't pay any money at all. But don't skip this, you have to click activate free trial. I think a lot of people have trouble with this step. This is a must, it has to be on a paid plan or it won't work. So I'm gonna click activate free trial and this is your new block. So go ahead and change the logo, change the colors, change the text. I'm not gonna walk through this whole template again cause I did it in previous videos. I have about three or four on my channel that goes through this in depth. So I'll skip this, but we're gonna go to the auto blogger page. When you first load your new template, you're gonna have to do some housekeeping. First off, go to plugins on the left side, then API connector, and you'll see three API calls. One to OpenAI, one to WordPress, and one to Dream Studio. That one is Stable Diffusion. Hit expand here, and for content-type, you're gonna write application slash JSON. For authorization, you're gonna write bearer, B-E-A-R-E-R, -E -R, space, and then your secret key from OpenAI. To get your secret key, go to platform.openai.com, hover over the left side, click API keys, and then create new secret key. Call it whatever you want, let's just call it test. Hit create secret key, and then copy this, and paste it here. The rest is good, you don't have to touch a thing. Your next API call is WordPress. If you're gonna use this, this is what you'll do. Click expand here, and we need to find your username and your password. In your WordPress dashboard, hover over users and click add new user. Okay, call it whatever you want. I used poster, email, put in any email you'd like, and then make sure the role down here is author. Okay, when you're ready, click add new user. Then when you open up that user's page, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and under application passwords, you're gonna set a new application password name. In my example, I use poster, but here we'll use admin password. We're gonna click add new application password, and you get a string of 24 digits. So we're gonna copy this, go back to the bubble app, you're gonna put in your username, I did admin password, and then you're gonna paste in that password that you copied, just like that. Next, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna expand post to blog, expand this, and again, make sure the content-type is application slash JSON. You can keep this private, that's fine. Don't worry about this for now, I still wanna do some testing and getting images sent over. This is that API call. You don't have to touch this. One more thing in WordPress, go to settings down here and then permalinks. And you have to make sure that anything but plain is checked. I think post name down here is the best. You get very simple URLs. And then we're gonna have our keyword as the slug at the end here. So post name is perfect, I'd click this. So that's the WordPress setup, super simple. Last is Dream Studio. This is the API we're using for stable diffusion. The key name should already be authorization, but you need to add your secret key. So again, bearer, space, and then paste in your secret key. To get your stable diffusion secret key, you're gonna go to beta.dreamstudio.ai, create an account. Up here in the top right corner is your profile. I purchased $10 worth of credits. And they're saying that's roughly 4,777 images. Great value for only $10. But over here, you're gonna create a new secret key. So click this plus button and it will create it. And then when you click copy, it'll grab that secret key, go back to your app and paste it in. For these two shared headers, content-type needs to be application slash JSON and key accept needs to be image slash PNG. And that's all you need to do for stable diffusion. If you wanna change the model, click expand, and this is the JSON. 
Right now I have it at 40 steps and I have it at the K underscore DMPP underscore 2M model. I know it's a little blurry zooming in here. You can change that to any sampler that you'd like. I found this gives the best results between speed and quality. All right, now you're all set up. You are ready to start generating posts with the autoblogger. Here are some troubleshooting tips. This input box has to have at least two keywords in it in order for the button to work. If the button is not working, input more keywords. Next, after you've changed all of the settings that I asked you to, go up to the top corner here, click main, and then deploy to live. Now you can start generating blog posts on your live site instead of your development site. So I just go to the auto blogger page and start generating my articles. If you're generating to WordPress, you don't have to worry about this step because everything's sent to your WordPress website. But this is if you're running the bubble website. You're also gonna to wanna to set a domain, go to settings, domain email, enter your domain name and then follow the steps. Bubble has really good instructions on setting up your domain. They're gonna give you a bunch of A records. Here's a quick insight into what is happening with the autoblogger in case you're curious or in case you wanna make some changes yourself. Once this button is clicked, it starts a workflow. It's highlighted in green here. And we have three backend workflows for each of the type of generations. We have one for all the dollies, so dolly three and dolly two. We have one for stable diffusion, if you're generating those images, and then you have one for WordPress, because remember, WordPress can't do images in this setup. So we had to do three different ones, and it's gonna run one of those APIs depending on which options you choose. If you wanna see those workflows, in the top left here, click this, go down to back end workflows, and here are the three. I'll quickly walk through the WordPress one because that is new. So it's a simple workflow, the first step, we write a short and simple title for an article about, and it's whatever you put in the keyword input box. Next step, we write an article about whatever that title was in the first step, and then I added this to the prompt. I say only write the article and nothing else. You know, GPT-4 is known to write stuff before your text and after your text, explaining what it's doing. We don't need that. I tell it to include H2 tags, H3 tags, and paragraph tags when appropriate. WordPress style is HTML. So we're basically formatting in HTML before we send the JSON over. And then last, I say do not, in all capital letters, write the title. It kept rewriting the title again. We don't want it twice. And it uses the text model that you chose. You can choose GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-3.5 Turbo. Next step, it makes an API call to your WordPress blog. We send the title, we send the content, and then we set the slug, and the slug is the keyword. And then last but not least, we reschedule this API workflow if you have more keywords to write about, and we do it whatever the interval you chose. So if you chose every 10 minutes, this would run every 10 minutes until there are no keywords left. If you chose 120 minutes, it would run every two hours until there's no keywords left. So that choice is yours. You could do one a day, one every couple hours, one every minute, totally up to you. And then the stable diffusion workflow is the same as the regular workflow. The only difference is instead of Dolly images, we're generating with Dream Studio and we're sending a prompt and that prompt is created by GPT-4 or whatever text model you chose. And then we're creating a post in the Bubble app that has all of these details. Your keyword, your content, your title, your image generated by Stable Diffusion, your image metadata, which is the prompt, and your meta description. Hopefully all of that will get your articles indexed by Google. All right, thanks for watching and thanks for your patience on waiting for me to add these features to the autoblogger. If you start a new app and you don't see this WordPress toggle or the Stable Diffusion model, wait 24 hours and try again. There might be a weird updating bubble template thing going on. I've contacted support to try to get that process sped up, just making sure that there's no problems there. For those watching in the future, this should already be live and working. And it's cool, we have 600 people who have started an app with the autoblogger. Thank you all. I did this for you guys, completely free. If you have any more features for this template, write it in the comments below. I'm always down to update this thing. We're gonna try to make this template really powerful. Okay, see everybody.